Hello everybody, it's Neta aka Sarge and welcome back to another video on the channel. This is Steinwald's Loop to Godly episode 9, I believe, or 10, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's episode 9. And in today's video we are going to be looking at how far I have come in the game and what I have done to do so. Uh, so as you can see I've been doing quite a lot of grinding off camera and I'm going to be showing my new awesome weapons and also I uh, haven't really done much of my gear but I'm going to be showing you a couple more things that you guys might be interested in seeing. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so first off I'm going to be showing you guys my new weapons. So as you guys can see I have four blue weapons in the corner here. Glennon First Mystery and this Consecration as you can see that is my repeater right now. Currently going to get a better one uh, but as, you, as of right now that is my best one. Uh, so let's start off with the crafted Forsaken Ripper. And by the way, guys, when it says crafted, that means I have crafted it myself from uh, the uh, professions menu. So as you guys can see, this is my enchanter, and I'm currently learning this crafted limbo as well, which I'll go over in a second. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what it means. Uh, so anyway, so the crafted Forsaken Ripper is this staff, which is a flame strike type staff. Now, in case you guys didn't know, if the, there are different types of staff, staffs. So there's the flame strike, the fireball, the sunfire, the firebomb, uh, the flame rush, and I think that's about it. Um, but basically, what these guys do is it means if I were to have another flame strike in my quick bar, it would also be on cooldown if I use one of the flame strikes. So I had this flame strike. If I had another flame strike. That will also be on cooldown as if I just used it. Uh, so this is why it's important that you guys separate your invent I mean your quick bars so that they are they are different um, kind of like these quotations down the bottom. Uh, so anyway, I have the crafted Forsaken Ripper. It requires two dots. Uh, it does roughly a thousand damage, 1500 on a good day, 10 range, and 76 mana. This is a big upgrade from my Sofulsion, which I got from Windsor Hold. Uh, did 1200 damage and costed about the same amount of mana uh, but this is kind of just 300 more damage at max so that is really really good to see um, and yeah this is also doesn't have that long of a cooldown so I can just spam this unlike my execution which I'll get back here in a second uh, but yeah this is definitely one of my favorite weapons to use other than this Glenifra's Mystery which is really useful if you are a healer. Now the reason why this is really useful for if if you are a healer is because this probably does the most amount of damage in the game without costing any dots. Now I haven't fact, che fact checked that uh, but I'm pretty sure that that's pretty much accurate. I mean this does a roughly a thousand damage on a good day so that is why I would say that this is probably the best bow that you guys can use. If you are a healer or something like that and you want something that takes up your mana go ahead chuck this into your quick bar give it a go it's only 42 mana although if you guys are level 30 it will only have a 65 percent hit chance so that is the only downfall to this uh, but however this is really useful if you just want to increase your dps just a little bit especially if you guys are a tank uh, so anyway the next weapon that i have is the mantis now i have not crafted this it I got this from Windsor Hold. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. It only requires you to run up to around. I think I was like wave 30 or 35 or something. I did ended up getting getting this, and this is really really useful because it does not cost a lot of mana at all. Only 49, and as you can see, it does a bit less damage than my flame strike, and it strikes in a kind of square motion like that uh, so kind of like a flower this one strikes in a 3 by 3 formation and so as you can see this uh, the flame strike does have a bit more coverage and a bit more damage but the mantis is still really good um, so that's why I have that it's just because it does a lot of damage for the mana and it's really good also really short cooldown two seconds less than the flame strike really good for dealing, to dealing some really good DPS Next up is the execution, 4 red dots here, it is a sunfire type weapon, uh, it does around, f f uh, I would say around 1600 damage on average, 2600 damage on a good day without any buffs, I have done up to 4000 damage with this thing, so it is absolutely insane, 
uh, but as you guys can see there is also a buff of plus 57 fire damage for 10 seconds so that means any other weapons in your inventory if you use them and they do use fire damage they will have extra damage for a period of 10 seconds provided you use this before uh, it has a really long cooldown as you guys can see 31.11 seconds is quite a lot has a decent range uh, as all the other weapons do and it is a lot of damage. It's really good if you just want to get out some damage quickly. It has this nice little animation, as you guys can see, kind of like uh, I don't know a tadpole, um, and it strikes in a three by three area, similar to the crafted Forsaken Ripper. But this is also really, really good. Okay, if we move on to the next one, this is an interesting one. Um, this is the crafted Blood Surge Slicer, which means I have crafted it with Liversum. Uh, as you guys can see here, it does a decent amount of damage, roughly 1,300-400, uh, can do up to around, I think I've done 2,500 damage with this, uh, uh, and it's really good for only 95 mana, and it also does heal you for up to 56 to 104 with 100% bonus. Uh, so as you guys can see, uh, it has no range, so what m that means is wherever you're facing, either down, up, left, or right, uh, it will attack right in front of you from this square up to here. So this is the maximum as you guys can see, or oh, perfect timing. Uh, but that is the maximum. If I was to attack up here as well, it would um, do the same thing. I cannot um, make it go any higher because it has absolutely no range. Uh, but that is pretty much it for this weapon. Uh, so yeah, it is pretty good though because it helps me heal as well in case I want to. I do not any have any healing stuff, so that's also really good. I'm going to try and get Glinifra's ca Glin. How do I pronounce that, guys? Glinifra's uh, Clarity, which is really really good uh, a healer weapon, along with Glin Glinifra's Mystery, which is a good damage weapon. If especially if you don't have any uh, um, advanced gear or you don't have any yellow dots. Um, as you guys can see, I'm going to move on to my crafted limbo, so I won't have to cover this in the later videos when I have this in my inventory. But basically, this is the crafted limbo. It is a flame rush type weapon, and it has 225 damage plus a 10% bonus every one second for 10 seconds. So that's equivalent to 100% bonus. And it also, this is what I'm really excited about, plus 10 plus 10.0 mana regeneration for 15 seconds. That is absolutely insane. I would love to have that in my inventory because half the time. When I'm trying to do a lot of damage, I have to spam my repeater because I do not have enough mana. Uh, so this is going to be really, really epic for me in the meantime because I really, really need something that will increase my mana re regeneration. So that is also there. Uh, so now let's move on to the Consecration. As you guys can see here, 31 to 58 fire damage. Pretty good. It's just your repeater. Your average repeater, 0.8 seconds, seconds of cooldown and 10 so that is it for my weapons right now. Of course, I have the professions and some level car mana potions here.